What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and CD Projekt Red is now trying to distance themselves from the claim that you would be able to refund their game on the PlayStation Network as well as the Microsoft Xbox Store. The Cyberpunk 2077 subreddit is mad at me and it looks like more bad news for CD Projekt Red. Now I want to point out as I'm sure the angry uh, cyberpunk fans have already disliked this video. I, I would ask that you give me a second here, all right? There was a tw upvoted 12,800 upvotes on the cyberpunk 2077 subreddit that read the following. And that's uh, this, this, this like first minute here goes out to the subreddit, all right? Game reviewers who claim the game was groundbreaking now making videos trashing on it. Anyone else irritated how Young Ye, yeah, Philip DeFranco, The Quartering, and other YouTubers who hyped up and defended CDPR like their life depended on it are now making a bunch of videos trashing it, like they never recommended we bought buy the game. I find it extremely irritating why y'all watching these videos and giving them millions of views. 12,800 upvotes. And yesterday when I made a video pointing out that CD Projekt Red admitted that they deliberately covered up early console footage. I lost about 500 subscribers within an hour. Got a lot of dislikes. I would only ask that you go to my videos tab and you type in Cyberpunk 2077. And you look at how many videos I've made defending this game from outrage culture. You look at the fact that, and I'm talking specifically to you, Cyberpunk 2077 subreddit... I literally hired the guy that got fired from CD Projekt Red from their social media. I've been protecting this company in every possible way I can. And at no point have I said that this game is trash. I also said to always be aware of pre-order culture. I don't think that it's fair for you to expect people to simply agree with you all the time. And so I don't, I'm not upset by this, but it is kind of a bummer given how hard I've gone to support this game. Look at this. The quartering out of all of them is a massive grifter. He holds no opinions. His fans do. Okay. My opinion, Robox is uh, you're a moron. Um, it's so frustrating that this fanboyism culture this is why you get bad games you get that right i'm not saying cyberpunk 2077 is a bad game i'm not even saying that it's not possible that the game will win game of the year in 2021 i believe it is strongly likely that cd project red will get these errors fixed by february and this game will be a billion dollar franchise juggernaut But it's also a gigantic mess on console and CD Projekt Red knew that and they deliberately hid it from you. Two things can be true at the same time. And I hope that the subreddit for Cyberpunk game would understand uh, that I am a friend, not a foe. My track record proves that. I don't think it was... You didn't see a lot of those other people you mentioned standing up f for employees from CD Projekt Red who were getting canceled. Also, Philip DeFranco? Literally, what? He still make videos? CD Projekt Red tries to distance itself from Cyberpunk 2077 refund mess. Can you get a refund of Cyberpunk 2077 on PlayStation platforms? Can you easily do so without a Sony representative trying to block your efforts? We still don't really know, and CD Projekt Red certainly isn't helping the situation. In a conference call just hours ago, board member Michael Nowakowski said the studio had no special arrangement in place with Sony in order to facilitate and accept Cyberpunk refunds. That is despite directly telling frustrated customers to contact the Japanese giant for a full refund yesterday. Again, if this was a language barrier thing, maybe, okay. But again, your tweet made, intentional or not, made it feel like 
you had some sort of agreement with these people and that we'd be able to refund the game. I wouldn't, excuse me, I wouldn't have wanted to refund it. I'm fortunately on PC and there's no reason for me to refund it. But there are a lot of people on PS4 who are not happy with the performance and may have a very legitimate reason to refund it. Now, I'm not trying to turn Cyberpunk into Fallout 76. It's not that. It'll never be that. The bones of the game are amazing. And again, this game, with its multiplayer options, could morph into one of the most epic games of all time. Quote, one has to understand, Microsoft and Sony have refund policies for every product that have released digitally on their storefronts. Despite several articles I've seen thinking that things are being set up for us, it's actually not true. These policies are in place and have always been in place. They're not offered specifically for us. Anyone who had purchased any title on the PlayStation Network or Microsoft Storefront can ask for a refund. And if it's made within certain boundaries, usually related to time, usage, and so on, can ask for that refund. Our procedure here with Microsoft and Sony is not to... That's apps. Look, I'm sorry, but come on. Come on. That is garbage. You literally told customers to go get a refund yesterday. And now a, 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 a conference call has leaked out there. Um, but it also had members of the public. So I guess it's not really leaked. Cyberpunk 2077 conference call has provided some insight on what went wrong during development. The conference call was between CD Projekt Red employees, but also members of the public who were seemingly putting questions to the developers about Cyberpunk 2077. The transcript of the call is the most illuminating, though. The developers are asked what had gone wrong before offering a detailed explanation. They then go on to clarify their plans for the game going forward. And again, this is good. Obviously, you don't want them to just abandon the game. While we're unsure who the questioner was, the transcript referenced them under the moniker of Q3. We assume Q3's question was related to the PS4 and Xbox One version. This is because the answer addresses that in detail. Where is the actual, here's, here's the actual call. Q3, this is in response. First, your question was about the focus and the cause of us ignoring, so to speak, the shortcomings of current gen consoles. It's more about us looking, as we previously stated, at the PC and next gen performance rather than current gen. So they overlooked it. We definitely did not spend enough time looking at that. I wouldn't say that we felt any external or internal pressure to launch on the date other than the normal pressure, which is typical for any release. So, so that's not the cause. In terms of certain process and third parties, this is definitely on our side. I can only assume that they trusted that we're going to fix things on release and that obviously that did not come together exactly as planned. Regarding the third question, where do we want to go with the PlayStation and Xbox? As stated in the statement made public today in the morning, we are planning to get the games in much better shape than it is now, of course, and a lot of that is going to be happening in December. Come January and February, you're going to see large improvements, which we've stated already. We have also stated that if your expectation is that the game is going to be equal to, say, next gen or PC in terms of performance, that definitely isn't going to happen. That's kind of a garbage reply. Uh, who would um, who would have expected that, right? I suppose some crazy people. Having said that, I'm not saying it's going to be a bad game, but if your expectations regarding say visuals or other performance angle are like this, we're openly saying that this is not going to be the case. It will be good, playable, stable game without glitches and crashes, though that's the intention. Well, that's all we want. They reply, okay, that last sentence I think is the key one. I don't expect next gen or on last gen, but I would like to be able to play through the game. Thank you very much. To which they reply, you will be able to. Thank you. And you see, on refunds, CDPR makes it clear that they do not have a special agreement with Sony or Microsoft. And then you have CD Projekt Red, dot, pretty bad tweets, worry not when thinking CD, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, think nothing less than TW3, The Witcher 3. Huge single player, open world story driven RPG, no hidden catch, you get what you pay for. No BS, just honest gaming like with Wild Hunt. We'll leave the greed to others. Now, I don't think this is a greed thing. Um, and again, I'm not like personally offended 
over uh, the Cyberpunk 2077 issue. And admitting your faults, of course, are the first step to getting improvements. I will support this game. I do support this game. I supported it with my money. I will stand up against uh, journalist uh, outrage culture and uh, rage bait articles. But if I don't call out the obvious, I mean, that's like the absolute minimum. Nobody can could possibly convince me with a straight face, talk to me with a straight face and say that the Xbox and the PS4 were, are good. And this is further illustrated by CD Projekt Red themselves coming out and saying that. Top execs at Cyberpunk developer spoke to investors Tuesday to address the game's recent rocky release. CD Projekt Red co-CEO Adam Kaczynski told the group that the company's management board was, quote, too focused on releasing the game and us underestimated the scale of Cyberpunk 2077's problems. We ignored singles, signals that need for additional time to refine the game on based on last gen consoles. Kaczynski said it was the wrong approach and again our business against our business philosophy. Again, you won't get many gaming companies that will own it as much as they have. All right. Now it doesn't erase the things in the past, but you've got to give credit where credit is due. Reviewers, including Polygon, were issued early release codes ahead of launch, but only on Windows PC, where the game runs best. Reviewers were mixed, but many cited a large number of bugs, even on Windows PC. Those bugs, however, were little compared to how the game ran on PlayStation 4 and Xbox Ones. We already know about that. Michael Norikowski, CD, CD Projekt Red's Senior Vice President of Business, reiterated that management team did not address last-gen consoles well enough. When asked about how Cyberpunk 2077 got through Microsoft and Sony's console certification process, Norikowski said he assumed that the company's trusted CD Projekt Red would fix the game ahead of launch. Obviously, that did not come together exactly as planned, he added. Norikowski said the updates will come in December, January, and February. I'm not going to say it's going to be a bad game, but yeah, don't manage your expectations. That's fine. I think I think that's all anyone could want. And 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 understand that if you're still here and you're an ultra CD, you know, cyberpunk fan, understand that I'm saying that admitting these problems is a good thing. Fixing them will be even better. And I 100 percent trust CD Project Red to do so. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.